Mm, there's our broken men. All right, we are back here once again into the humble abode of apparently the biggest Stephen King fan you've ever seen. We are back to Beyond the Side. I did a video on this like over a week ago, I think, as a one shot, but I've noticed that a lot of people liked it and have been asking for a bit more. So, hey, you know what? I'll do another video as a follow up here. And there's enough interest. Maybe we'll continue going with the entire thing. But at least wanted to do one more because a lot of people were asking to see a bit more. We have two emails indeed. Your cameras. I guess, like, we know of the weird stuff going on as her. We don't know of the weird stuff going on too much with the other guy, but with her, we know something is weird's going on. So let's see here, we have first one from Emmy. Hey, haven't heard from you for a while, your cell phone is always off. Called your place a couple of times and left messages, I suppose you haven't got time to check them yet. Otherwise you'd have answered me by now. <laughs> yeah, about that. Honestly, I'm sick of hearing the same auto-answering tune, I got no other way of contacting you, so please, call me. For real, please, just call me as soon as you can. Eh, yeah, you know, I'm bad about that. Responding, oh, I am the worst responder you've ever seen. Urfan. Hi. I checked the damage video file you sent me yesterday. I can say for sure that there's nothing wrong with the cameras. You told me you'd adjusted them to so they'd be sensitive to movement and start recording as soon as tracking the slightest bit. Which means it couldn't have been a full memory issue. Still, I can't figure out why parts of the footage were damaged, erased, or distorted. But I'm working on it. Maybe I can fix some segments, but it's gonna take some time. Now I'm working on the file and I'll send you a fixed segment as soon as it's ready, since you've told me you've wanted to watch it sooner. No surprise there, if it's some sort of supernatural creature, camera just isn't ready for that. Isn't this, um... <laughs> this is very similar to... What game did this that I played not too long ago? Spider-Man? Oh, so tough. It's a tough one, but we figured it out. I can't wait for Urfan to send me the rest of the files. I'm absolutely sure that camera has captured something intriguing. And I've just 80% to go until proving my hunch. It's getting cold. I better check the thermometers instead of staring at the screen. Thermometers. There's three of them to check. Huh. So much dirt. Supernatural activity, it gets colder. I get you. Better clean it first. Alright. I'm, I'm, I can't see I can't see it through this dirt. It's just way too dark. Can't see it at all. Four degrees above. A touch colder than yesterday. Hmm. Now, go to read the other ones, too. Hey, hey, hey miss! Hey, talking to you. Me? Hey, hey, no, don't you go that way, miss! Oh, oh, don't ever go there. Why? They, they keep round there. They're dangerous. I knew this old man had seen things. Do we talk to him? I guess we'll talk to him. What are they? I've seen them. Broken men. They just don't like it when people get too close. Everything they touch, it, it cuts off. Everything detach. Cut off. Don't go there. Broken men? Th that's what you've been calling them? Oh, you've seen them too. I've seen some things, but what exactly? I, I can't tell. I don't believe. I mean, we have to somewhat believe, don't we? I mean, look at how we're keeping surveillance under his alley. I don't believe what you're saying, Grandpa. He seems not all in one place. <laughs> As if he's rambling. I'm glad I gave him the proper voice then. I ain't delusional. I seen him. Well then, show me where they are now. Oh, they, they're thinner than paper. Clear than water. Can't you see them like that? Grandpa surely seen something. Let's sleep. Uh, thanks for the heads up. I better get going. Don't you go that way. Not that way. Uh, don't you worry. I'll look after myself. And there's the final thermometer. The one that's really counts. Oh, okay. So the other ones. Oh, this one is oof, like a negative four. Oh, come on. We can see it already. Yep. Four degrees below. This one usually shows it's 7 or 8 degrees lower. No matter what you place here, it's gonna get cut off. Rock, piece of metal, or meat and bones. Cut off. Maybe I should see what's inside this abandoned building later. Snowflakes. Strange. The sky's all clear. 
Not getting any good vibes from here. Should probably head back home. I don't see those snowflakes anywhere. Just in that spot. As if they fell right from a small invisible cloud. Hmm. Alright. Or maybe if we've got the rest- Ah, oh, jeez. Don't do that! You're talking about broken, broken men, you suddenly show up, Gramps. Good of you to listen! You're back! Real glad! Yeah, I couldn't risk it. It just went another way. You, you seen him, didn't you? Yeah, I saw some things. I, I think it might not be too good an idea to get close to them or touch them. I, I know where they come from. Right from behind the walls of that building. They just crawl in, make their way through when it's cold. Well, I suggest you don't go around there. To tell your donut selling friend to, uh, the wall looks dangerous, so it's best to keep his distance. Since Sam? Oh, he never listens to me. Uh, thinks I'm drunk all the time. Thinks I'm lying. Sam's his name, then. Anyway, I'll tell your friend Sam he better not get too close to that wall. It might get him killed. Cut off metal, doesn't matter what. I wonder if that's how his wife lost her hand. Cut off, because, you know, just severed hand, right? Ghost, supernatural beings, aliens, all these tales. All this gibberish was never part of my upbringing. I wasn't even into that for fun of, for the fun of it. If someone told me I had to carry around salt and garlic and a wooden stake in my pocket just in case, I straight tell them they'd gone insane. Now, right there where Anna went missing, I saw a ghastly apparition behind me. And then suddenly a drunken old man talks of the existence of some broken, unseen men. Right amidst my strangest, most perplexing hour. I should speak to Ben. Could it be that I've lost my mind? No, two people can't share the same delusion. I can only hold on to it as a lead. My first solid lead after six months of figuratively getting nowhere in these alleys. Alright, well that's not disturbing right there. M&S, June 6, 2008. Are these two lovers still together? Like their token of remembrance says? Are they still alive even? That's fairly grim. First sip, and it was steaming hot still. I lost track of time. I was just staring right in front of me for a few minutes. I just know enough time has passed for this cup of coffee to get so cold that it's not worth drinking anymore. How easily can I drink my coffee and watch you die a slow dead? It's like how in cold blood you land on a corpse and feast on it as if it were a giant cake, not aware of the grand scheme of things. Looks like you and me aren't that different after all, huh? I should probably check up on Ben before it gets too dark. I wonder if um, the girl's still there too. Probably have a little bit of powwow as to what's happening back here. Share some information. Oh, there she is. Hmm. Not yet, apparently. Ben, did you see them today? Those broken men? You seen them again today? Nah, I ain't looking at them no more. They scared me. You mean you saw nothing this time? No, no, they, they're not always there. I've seen them from time to time. Oh, by the way, how's your eye doing? I can't tell. I still can't see anything with it. <laughs> well, you're, you're, it's covered. That's the reason why, dude. Well, of course, you're not capable to see yet, my friend. The dressing's over it. Dre dressing manages. Yep, and soon you will get rid of it. <laughs> it's your drink. How much have you had to drink these past few days? Well, Sam, listen, lad. I ain't no drunk. I saw them for real. I ain't hallucinating. Even that lady saw them broken men. They're real. Really real. Wh which lady? She, she told me herself. Told me she'd seen them broken bunch. Told me to tell you, Sam. Not to get near them again. They're dangerous. Who's talked to you about these broken men, Ben? What lady are you talking about? Uh, she was here, right here. Told me to tell you to watch out. Don't get any close to them broken fellas. Don't go touch it. Damn it, Ben. What lady? When was the time you met her? Uh, she left before you came. Went down the street. Is he talking about that girl who passed by me? Should go after her. 
Gotta find her any way I can. Diz. That lady left Diz. What? When she was leaving, Diz fell from her pocket. Oh, well, let me see. Why is it ripped to pieces? It was just like that on the ground. Simple. I should put the pieces in the right place. Oh, we got timed as well? Alright, well, this is a fairly simplistic looking puzzle here. Just look for our edges. We got one there. And you over here. Okay. What do these mean? Can't make sense of it. I have to find that girl. Maybe she knows something. Oh, the, the temperature takings. So four, four, and the one below four. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday when you left, I found some. Right where that broken man would be behind you. I think it belongs to him. What did you find? Not sure. Move my head closer, it was cold. It was frightening. For, for a second, my hand just did its own thing. I took it. C can I see it? I don't, don't have it anymore. I was scared. Threw it away. Well, where did you drop it? That way. Uh, I guess behind that car. I hope it's still there. I found something he was scared threw it away. What do we got here? I need to move the light around to see every dark spot into the car. Oh. Uh, of course, you find a dead rat down here too, huh? I hope that's not cold. Frightening thing Ben has found. <laughs> you just found the dead rat that freaked him out. Tiny white bits frozen in the air, floating by and falling to the ground. I see a mouse in the alley, too. Yeah, they keep mentioning that over and over, don't they? Oh, is it Ben's booze? Looks like he throws everything he wants to get rid right behind the car. <laughs> so maybe Ben has indeed been boozing after all. Oh. Well, I think we have probably found... the item. I think this must be the item Ben f was talking about. I should get it out. You found it! You found it! What the hell is this? It was frozen when I found it. It's still pretty cold. What is it exactly? Looks like a knife. It's frightening. Frightening and deadly. Can I keep it? Uh, I don't want it. Don't want to keep it. Just get scared of it. I should find out what this is exactly. Well. We have a missing hand, right? Or <laughs> we have a missing wife who was missing a hand. Well, the hand was found by us, but she's missing. We found a instrument that could cut. And apparently it's frozen as well. Snow. It was the first time I actually saw snowflakes there, with my own eyes, without cameras, just like that old man. How come that old man can easily see them and I can't? How is it that they're caught on camera, but I still can't spot them? What if the old man has a camera installed in his head? Maybe he's half human, half machine or an android, a cyborg coming from the future. Oh, how insightful of me. Maybe it's finally time I talk to Sam. Got a new message. She, she's not in... <laughs> so say she's not insane, she was just being sarcastic, I imagine. And my PC just short-circuited. Oh no, this useless thing is malfunctioning again. What's the problem? Damn power system got this lost again. Now all the wires are out, I have to reconnect them in order. Now what was the color order of the wires? I don't know, there's not even a hint around here. Alright. <laughs> not red. Not blue. There we go. Just guess around until you get it, apparently. Finally, done. Can't tell how much time I've got before it goes out again. Better check the message before it's turned off again. Hopefully it said email, with the rest of that video that's been corrupted. Hi again. I'm sending you the second file, so I'm gonna send you the final bit before you finish working on this one. Alright. Hmm. Gonna get trickier now, huh? Now we got the doubles, too. Alright, so we got the last one. Let's see if we can see the entire video now. Mm, there's our broken men.
finally caught it on footage. Broken men. <laughs> Broken men. Is what her boy said. Can't remember the last time I was actually happy. I have to find out what this dagger is and where it's come from. And then I need to find the girl Ben was talking about. Gotta see what she knows of these broken fella. Don't know. Lucky as I am, she probably is a drunken and absent-minded just like Ben. Hello? Um, can I invite you for coffee? I think I may have some information that might interest you. And there is our meetup. All right. All right, and that concludes the very first episode of Beyond This Side. Number two is available, and number three coming soon, apparently. If you guys enjoyed it, I want to see a bit more. Let me know in the comments, and if there's enough interest, we'll come back and do episode two as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time.